blade or a mallet? A Scotty Cameron Newport 2 or a Scotty Cameron Phantom 5.5? Which of these putters is gonna help you hold more putts? Each of these putters has their pros and cons, their strengths and their weaknesses, but I'm here to help you decide which one might belong in your bag. Now, as different as the Scotty Cameron Super Select Newport 2 and the Phantom 5.5 may look, they actually are very, very similar in what they bring to the table, and that is by design. I had the opportunity a few years ago with the PGA Merchandise Show to duck behind a booth and hang out and chat for a while about putters with Scotty Cameron, and he broke out a Sharpie and started drawing for me sketches of putters. It was super cool, and he showed me how similar in design a Newport or a Newport 2 is to many of the most popular mallet putters like the Phantom 5.5 that he has. The Scotty Cameron Super Select Newport 2 starts out as a solid block of 303 stainless steel and then is milled into the shape that you see here. There are bumpers or extra pieces of mass that are in the heel and toe area. Material has been moved out of the center and in the case of the Newport 2, you've got a very thin top line along with a plumber's neck hosel. The Scotty Cameron Super Select Newport 2 also has what's referred to as a tri-sole design meaning that there is a flat section here where you're going to be soling the putt in the address position, but you'll notice that the heel section and the toe section both come up slightly. That is right off of the PGA Tour. That is something that tour players have liked for years and years. And with the super select line of putters that came out in 2023, Scotty Cameron introduced something called dual milling. Now, he had had milled faces for years in the past, and that's what creates that sort of spiral and sort of circular shape on the hitting surface. But now with the dual milling in the Super Select, there's actually two passes of the milling machine. The first one creates sort of the deep pattern here, and that deep milling really makes the sound richer and deeper. It also sort of enhances the feel um, that you get at the moment of impact. But when the second milling pattern goes on here and is applied, it shaves off the peaks, the points, if you will, that are created by the first milling pass. Now, according to Scotty Cameron, that is going to put more of the surface area of the face in contact with the golf ball. So you're actually going to get a little bit better performance while getting the sound and the feel benefits of that initial milling. So the benefit really comes from the two of them working together. Now, with the Phantom Series for 2024, Cameron brought that dual milling design into the face of these putters as well. So the faces of these two putters are going to be identical in their construction, so the feel should be very, very similar. And then there is the balance or the toe hang. In the case of the Newport 2 as well as the um, Phantom 5.5, they're going to be very, very similar. Both of them are gonna have about 30 to 40 degrees of toe hang. Now, most golfers have some level of arc to their putting stroke, and for that reason, blade style putters that have some level of toe hang, which really emphasizes and works well with a slightly arced stroke, have always been really popular. However, starting about 10 years ago, mallet style putters that are more compact in size, that are designed with some level of toe hang, like a blade style putter, became very, very popular on tour. There are several different models that really took off and the acceptance of them by players at the elite level really increased. And for that reason, you're also then seeing an increase in the number of recreational golfers who are willing at least to try a mallet putter because they're designed nowadays to fit with their stroke and they know that there are definitely some benefits to going with a mallet putter. And so what are those benefits of mallet putters over blades? Well, mallet putters just by their size allow manufacturers to put on more and varied alignment aids. In the case of the Scotty Cameron Phantom 5.5, there are three dots on the top line that indicate to you exactly where you'd be wanting to line up the putter behind the golf ball. There is also a golf ball width area of negative space in the center. And if you'll notice, the angles on the toe and the heel section kick in here. That is all meant to draw your eye out here towards the golf ball to help you aim and align the putter more effectively. When you're talking about a blade style putter, you simply don't have the real estate to create anything like that. You do have a single alignment line and some of the Scotty Cameron blade style putters, you will see dots or different alignment systems that have been incorporated into them. But by and large, mallets are going to be much easier to align and to aim than blade style putters. And then there's the benefit of high MOI and forgiveness. Because mallet style putters, again, are physically larger, you're able to separate out more weight and oftentimes pull it away from the hitting area. And when the more weight that you can spread out in a putter and put it in the heel and the toe, the more the putter will resist twisting on slightly off-center hits. So blade style putters typically don't have the ability to create as high an MOI as a mallet style putter because many players have nowadays at the PGA Tour level switched into mallets not only because they're easier to align and easier to aim, 
but even the best players in the world are going to slightly miss hit their putts every once in a while. And if you strike the ball just a little bit towards the toe or just a little bit towards the heel, a mallet style putter is almost always going to send more energy into the putt so the putt rolls out the distance you were looking for more often. It also is going to help putts stay on line more effectively than a blade style putter. It's for that reason that we've seen players like Max Homa and Justin Thomas and Patrick Cantley change from blade style putters like this Scotty Cameron Newport 2 into putters of this shape and style over the last couple of years. So if mallet style putters are going to be overall more forgiving, and if they've been designed nowadays with their different hosel configurations to swing like a blade style putter, why would anybody stick with a blade style putter? Well, oftentimes blades, uh, heel toe weighted blades like this Newport 2 do an outstanding job of amplifying feel. They have a very reassuring classic look in the address position. They're confidence inspiring. And because the feel is so good, many players when they feel like they're putting well, they putt even better with a blade style putter just because their sense of touch is refined that much more. I've heard a number of elite players tell me that when they are putting great, their good days with a blade style putter are that much better. However, their bad days with a blade style putter are often not as good as their bad days with a mallet, again, because of that forgiveness. Now, the folks at Scotty Cameron made these two putters available to me, and here are my thoughts on them. I have had a chance to try the Super Select Newport 2 quite a few times, and it is, as advertised, a classic Scotty Cameron blade. If you're someone who has really enjoyed a heel toe weighted classic blade putter, you're gonna love the feel of the Scotty Cameron putter. It is a very, very soft feel um, as the ball comes off. And that is because again, of that dual milling. I found that compared with many Scotty Cameron Newport style putters in the past, this one definitely to me felt softer. And again, with that dual milling, that is to be expected. Um, what I was pleasantly surprised with when I tried the um, Phantom 5.5 is that the feel was darn near identical. And again, because it also has that dual milling, um, that shouldn't be a huge surprise to me. I was pleasantly surprised when I was hitting putts with the Phantom 5.5 that it gave me a sensation that the ball was actually coming off a little bit quicker. Now, something I didn't really notice until I put the two putters down next to each other is that the Super Select Newport 2 has a much longer blade length than the Phantom 5.5. It is significantly longer, as you can see, sort of see here. So if you are somebody that wants to make the golf ball appear larger, basically in relation to the blade length, then the Phantom 5.5 is going to do that for you. It is going to have a little bit more weight, a little bit more beef around the golf ball. It seems to drive through the golf ball a little bit more easily. And I found that it felt like my stroke was a little bit smoother with the mallet. Now I found for me, putt after putt from a consistency standpoint, that the Phantom 5.5 seemed to get me closer to the hole more often. It felt like each putt, no matter where I was striking it on the face, and I assumed that I was mishitting some of my putts, were all coming off with a greater level of consistency. They were all coming off more like each other. Whereas if I didn't strike the Super Select Newport too well every time, I immediately knew it. I could tell when my putts were gonna be running short as soon as it was coming off the blade, which is something that's reassuring. I know exactly when it's pilot error rather than, than anything else, but it is kind of nice to know that you don't have to be perfect perfect um, with the Phantom 5.5, that it's going to send the ball down close to the hole just about every time. If your putt was good, if you judged the speed well, you're gonna get rewarded with the Phantom 5.5, I think a little bit better than you would with the Super Select Newport 2. So ultimately, I think the answer to the question, which of these two putters, the blade or the mallet, is gonna help you hold more putts, comes down to what you really need from your putter. If you're a golfer who is looking for an amplified sense of touch and feel, if you want to have the most control you can possibly get, if that's your biggest priority, then the blade putter is probably gonna be something that you're gonna be attracted to. However, if you're a golfer who is looking for a greater sense of forgiveness, if you're looking for more stability, putt after putt, and more consistency, putt after putt. And I think probably a mallet is going to be the way you're going to probably want to go. In this case, the Phantom 5.5 is going to be the putter that you should probably look into the most. To make sure that you get the best putter for you, talk to a good custom fitter, get yourself tested, and find out what putters out there match up ideally well with your stroke. So if you got some good information out of this video, it'd be fantastic if you would like, comment, and subscribe. It's always super helpful. I'm also happy to answer any of the comments that you put down in the comment area below. I try and keep my eyes on the comment area. So if you have questions about either the Scotty Cameron Super Select Newport 2, the Phantom 5.5, or the debate between blades and mallets in general, I'd love to try and help you out and I'd love to also hear some of your opinions. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll look forward to talking to you again really soon.